something to contemplate. Why do you believe what you believe? Wars are fought over it. Relationships are fought over it. Uh, some people say, oh, I believed I could, so I did. Well, they actually worked at it, developed it. They worked hard at it, and they accomplished it. And they didn't really just believe they did. They just went and did it. So many people have beliefs and think, well, if I believe strongly enough, it would happen. No, if you endeavored enough in that direction, obviously it's going to happen. And when you also, when you begin to just look and challenge and, and go, well, why do I believe what I'm believing? Where did I get these beliefs? And are these beliefs an absolute? That means that absolute works for everyone, who, no matter who they are or where they are, that works for everyone that they can count on. Just like goodness or, or love. Love's an absolute. It doesn't have the opposite of hate. And, and, and when they say fear is the opposite of love, what they're doing is equating that love and fear go together as two sides of the same coin. So when you're in love, you have fear. No, that's called lust. When you're in unconditional love is who you are, there is no fear because you're fully connected with, your divine, with the divine, with the God presence within. So just something to contemplate and, and look at, and just start to look at, what do you believe? And then these beliefs can be so strong. And the, one of the basic beliefs is uh, that you're not good enough, that you can't get enough, that there isn't enough, that you're going to die, that you're born and die and you only have so much time. So you better hurry and get it done before you're gone because then it's over. That's not you. That's that's someone else talking to you that you've been listening to and then believing. So just start writing down. Take a little notebook. Well, well, I notice about that, and and then you'll notice what are your reactions when you get triggered or you get upset instead of going, "Oh, that's terrible. They upset me." No, you had a sleeping thought demon, a concept that got awakened by that encounter so be grateful for it so that you can get rid of it because it's a belief and it's jerking you around and then to notice how much is worked on beliefs so that you're programmed re repetitively and through reward and punishment the carrot and the stick until you start believing absolutely what you've been told in in school or religion or, or a business or you know, always telling you what you can't do and what's not possible and limiting. And that when we, when these beliefs, they give, give us a live, live, what do you call, limited reality. It's not what you believe, it's what you know. So then also start to notice what you know, what you know beyond a shadow of doubt. And you don't have to prove it to anybody. Oh, prove what you know. I don't have to prove it. That's my business. So yeah, just start to notice and then start to notice how beliefs have been operating in your life and what it's doing for you or against you. And they're not absolutes, they're just thoughts that have been given meaning to that we've accepted and therefore emotionalize, imagine, visualize and are living in a false reality. So as we clear that, we just do that. That's just the assignment. Okay, that's good. Just notice. We're, why do you believe what you believe? Can you prove it? Is it blind belief? Is it blind faith? Somebody said, and if you didn't, you, and what, what's holding it in place? Is it working for you? Yeah. Go to knowing after a while. Absolute knowing who you are. Stand firm in that.